Hello everyone, Mike from Newfound Pass with this week's What Sold video. Today we have 20 items across two accounts. Um, a lot of best offers in this stuff I realized when I was bringing it up on the screen, but that's okay. A uh, quick note before I jump right in, I want to implore and beg and plead all that good stuff uh, to register for our auction. It is this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, all the details on newfoundpass.com. You can see pictures of the auction lots as well as register through there. So that'll be on our YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Eastern this Sunday. So should be a good time. So pop in. All right. Thanks for listening to that. So we're jumping into the sold items. First off is this Microsoft Comfort Curve keyboard from 2000. Uh, this was just in a haul video a week or two ago, not too long ago. And we got it for, I think, around $5 or so, $3, 4 $5. Let me see here, make sure I didn't take a best offer, because I did take a lot of offers on stuff. But I had this listed for $42.57 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. Full asking, $42.57 plus $11.95 shipping. So that's an all-in total of, uh, what, 54 and change or so. So really, really nice and quick as well. So really good next up this cy rogers generation triple x equipping youth for sex saturated culture i <laughs> uh, got this a uh, couple months ago i only paid like a buck or two for it dvd it just caught my attention you know of course when something that outlandish is on there now this was brand new sealed and i uh, had this listed for 27 dollars and 71 cents plus shipping and that's what it sold for Full asking twenty seven seventy one plus they paid for priority mail shipping of eight dollars and sixty cents, so an all in total of thirty six and change on the DVD. That was really really cool. Let's see here next up we have the J Crew vest, the JCMG. This is a goose down puffy vest this is a 650 fill so that's a really high quality thing but these things didn't bring a ton though but we only had like three or four bucks into this and it was in pretty good condition had it listed for 32.67 uh, plus shipping and we took a best offer of 24 dollars plus 10 dollars and 40 cents shipping for an all-in total of 34 dollars and 40 cents on the vest next up this banana republic safari and travel clothing company belted uh, jacket you know safari jacket we didn't have this one too long either uh, got it a few weeks ago uh, only paid about five dollars for it had it listed for forty seven dollars and fifty two cents and that's what it sold for full asking forty seven fifty two plus eight dollars and thirty cents shipping for an all-in total of fifty five dollars and eighty two cents really nice Next up, this Casabyte Arcats Remote Test Probe. This is brand new, sealed. I've had this for a very, very long time. Uh, kept on lowering the price and lowering the price. Lowered it down to $15, and that's what it sold for. $15 plus $30.75 shipping. This went to, uh, I forget where this went to, but $30 shipping. It was a lot of shipping. It was, uh, it was quite heavy for what it was. So, uh, yeah, so an all-in total of $45.75. Next up, this Middle Earth Cards, uh, Wizards deck, uh, Wizards of the Coast deck, you know, uh, from Lord of the Rings. We got these in one of those dollar bags, dollar or two bags, and there were several decks in there. Uh, this one deck we had listed for $18.73, and we took a best offer of $12 plus $7.85 priority mail shipping for an all-in total of $19.85. Next up, the uh, some more SkinCeutical stuff. Uh, for those of you that are new, and a bunch of my sold videos a long time ago, uh, about when I first started, about a year ago, I got a whole lot of this brand new sealed SkinCeutical stuff. I paid about 50 bucks for a ton of it. And I probably ended up making a total of a couple grand off of this stuff. But I still have a few small bottles of stuff laying around here and there. And I've been lowering the prices on it. And this is one of the last few... Um, had this listed for 20, I actually lowered the price to $25 manually. Uh, had it listed a little bit higher and lowered the price and that's what it sold for. $25 plus $9.30 priority mail shipping for a total of $34.30. This thing went out to the West Coast and somebody wanted it in a hurry. So I got it to them. Next up, this uh, Mickey Mouse miniature uh, desk golf bag caddy for like pens and pencils. This was pretty cool. It was brand new. 
Uh, I've got this for just a buck or two at the thrift store and uh, had it listed for $23.73 and took a best offer of $15 plus $8.20 shipping for an all-in total of $23.20. Uh, you guys noticing a theme? <laughs> People want free shipping. That they're they're sending offers with the uh, you know the shipping discounted, but I fully expect that, and that's why we price stuff the way we do. That's why some people have asked me, why do you price your stuff weird like that? Twenty three seventy three. It's the shipping. <laughs> that's okay though. Next up, a members only uh, wool jacket, size forty two. This was a hundred percent like bomber type coat jacket, uh, really heavy duty, really nice. And this is another one that I had listed for higher, but I uh, kept lowering the price, lowering the price, lowering the price. Uh, I went down to twenty five dollars, and somebody offered twenty dollars, and I accepted twenty dollars plus ten dollars and eighty five cents shipping for an all in total of thirty dollars and eighty five cents. Not a lot of profit on this, but I only had about $7.50 into it. So still, you know, about a 10 buck profit. Uh, not our usual margins, but we'll take a profit. Next up, another one of these Lutron uh, dimmer switches. I pick these up quite frequently for just a buck or two. And had this listed for $19. This is brand new. And took a best offer of $12 plus $5.24 shipping for an all-in total of $17.24. Just a quick little easy thing to list and cheap and send it on. Next up, this uh, Genuine HP 49A. This is a toner cartridge. And we picked this up at Goodwill down south of us. Uh, only paid three or four bucks for this. And it was sealed, brand new. And we had this listed for $34 plus shipping. And that's what it sold for full asking. $34 plus $16.10 shipping. For an all-in total of fifty dollars and ten cents. Next up, this Adidas Roland Garros, the tennis tournament in Paris, uh, the French Open uh, pullover windbreaker. This was a vintage Adidas, and uh, this was in very good condition. It wasn't new, but uh, check the tag out there. The Roland Garros tag, and there's the Adidas tag. So this was really nice. I only paid about $5 for it. Had it for a pretty long time. Uh, kept lowering the price on it. Got it down to $34 and that's what it sold for. $34 plus $8.30 shipping for an all-in total of $42.30. Next up we have the uh, coffee mug. First coffee mug. Um, the EPA Environmental, the, you know, EPA Environmental Protection Agency Green Lights Program. And this was uh, like new, you know, we listed as used because there's no tags, but there was no spoon star marks. Paid our usual 50, 75 cents for this. Get you over here. Yep. Yeah. See, no spoon star marks. And we had this listed for $20 and with best offers on. And when somebody sent an offer of $13 and I accepted $13 plus $8.30 shipping for an all-in total of $21.30. Next up, these uh, these were really neat. I thought they should have sold for more than this, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I got these in an auction lot, and I didn't have next to anything into them, just a few few dollars, you know, a few bucks. Uh, Mid-century spoons, uh, Aber Abercrombie & Fitch silver-plated shovel spoons, and they, they're bent on the end like that on purpose. Let me get you a close-up here. These were used, and they were tarnished as well, and I debated about cleaning them, but I thought I would leave the patina on there just to show that they had some age yeah, they were just really neat spoons. And I won't, oh, there we go. They made in England on there. See the little bent edge. Just a really, really neat. The box was completely wrecked, but I had kept on lowering the price. I had a price pretty high. I kept lowering the price. Got down to thirty dollars. Someone sent an offer of twenty-four dollars, and I accepted twenty-four dollars plus nine dollars and thirty cents shipping for an all-in total of thirty-three dollars and thirty cents. Sent them on to their new home. Next up, the J. Crew 770 uh, Selvage Jeans. These are brand new in the tags. I got these for about 10 bucks. Uh, had them for a, quite a while. Had them listed for $75. And I got an offer of $55. And I accepted $55 plus $8.30 shipping for an all-in total of $63.30. And I talked about what Selvage is in my last haul video. Go back and watch that because I found a pair of Selvage Levi's, which is pretty rare. But this is Selvage. 
right there. It's a finished edge. This is actually what they would call a red line selvage, which Levi made, Levi's made popular. But it's just a finished edge seam. So, yep. All right, moving over to our other account. We got this eight, uh, this lot of uh, film, camera film, 35 millimeter. And I had a bunch of difference in here. The Kodak, different models of Kodak, some Ilford, some Fuji film. I got all these in a bag for just a couple bucks. I had these listed for $37.84. Got a best offer of $23 and I accepted $23 plus $7.70 shipping for an all-in total of $30.70. Next up, we got a crate and barrel. Uh, another set of this stuff I had. I sold one of these already uh, a few weeks ago, and I found another one, got it listed, and somebody bought it pretty much instantly, and guess what? It was the same exact person that bought the other one, bought this one instantly. <laughs> had it listed for $34.65, and that's what they paid. $34.65 plus $15.35 shipping for an all-in all in total of $49. Uh, the lady that buys these lives in Arizona, so shipping is high. And, I mean, can't really do much about it. Next up, uh, Nesco Cozy Cup uh, Christmas Ornament. Yep, still selling Christmas stuff in April. Uh, had this listed for $22.00. Uh, with best offer on, somebody sent an offer of $15, and I accepted $15 plus $8.30 shipping for an all-in total of $23.30. I pick up these ornaments all the time, year-round, for cheap, for just a dollar or two. And, uh, yeah, you should, too, if you see them. Next up, this uh, Washerbach. Uh, this is made in West Germany in the 80s. This was a bowl and a mug. They kind of match. That's why I pair them. It's kind of an odd pairing, but they matched. I could have separated them, but we only had a couple bucks into the pair. Had them for a really long time, though. Uh, had them listed for $35, so when someone sent an offer of $25, I accepted. Had them really long time, ready to move them on. $25 plus $12.05 shipping for an all-in total of $37.05. Next up, oh, last up. <laughs> My dogs are dancing behind me. <laughs> We have this Scrabble Express 20 minute game uh, from 2007, brand new in the box. Uh, paid just a buck or two for this as usual and uh, had it listed for $15 plus shipping and that's what it sold for. Full asking $15 plus $9.30 shipping for an all in total of $24.30. And that is it guys, that is 20 items that sold across two accounts. Uh, a lot of, I thought it was a lot of best offers and it was, but we had some full price in there as well. So that was nice. Uh, trying to pick things up. I'm tinkering with items every day, trying to list every day. Yeah, and you guys busy and getting at it, you know. We're, uh, we're going to try to hit the garage sales this Saturday. Uh, we have a little time. Going to hit those hard and heavy and see what we can find. So that'll be awesome. So thank you to all of our old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. Please remember to register for our auction at newfoundpass.com. A big thank you to all of our patrons. We have patron benefits for the auctions and other stuff as well. So, uh, yeah. You guys check that out and we appreciate it. Thanks guys.